A month has flown by in super quick fashion, with the second Android 12 developer preview creeping up on us as it begins rolling out right now, and that means some neat new tricks and features for you to play with. But to help save you some time and effort, we've been delving in to find out some of the best new user facing features, so let's dive in. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Before we really kick things off, there are some features that you will be able to access with a little technical know-how, but all we're about to show you are completely user-facing, meaning that if you are happy to install what is still a fairly buggy build of Android 12, then you can enjoy them right out of the gate. Although naturally, again, because this is a developer-focused build after all, we still don't recommend that you install this on your main or default device. Please only sideload the Android 12 developer previews on a secondary smartphone if you do have one, a proper public facing Android 12 beta is set to kick off within the two, next two months or so, which will be far more stable and suitable for everyday usage. But without any further messing around or any warnings, here are the top new user facing features in the second Android 12 developer preview. The picture in picture mode experience on Android has needed some work for a little while, and with the Android 12 developer preview too, we're getting some enhancements to usability and a few extra controls to boot. With this update, you can actually stash a picture-in-picture -picture window to the left or right side of your screen if you need or want to focus on another application or indeed something like a web page. This even works for those of you out there without YouTube Premium, at least in this particular developer preview build, meaning that you can listen to video content or music while doing other things. A single tap as well on the window shows playback controls like pause, play, skip and more. Double tapping on the window switches back and forth between a small window size and a larger one. Or if you're looking for a more refined window size control, you can now use pinch to zoom to resize the window and move it around your screen. We saw the media player UI get a fairly big change in the Android 12 developer preview one, but here in preview two, there is only one new notable tweak. When selecting an accent color for your device theme within the styles and wallpapers section, the media player will adorn the same background tone. It does make the biggest difference on the lock screen, as previously the media player would adopt a background colour determined by the album art of any currently playing music. Now it's far more prominent and might factor into your wider theming choices. We do hope that widgets will become a wider focus point within Android 12, but Developer Preview 2 now organises the quick access section somewhat better than it has done previously. When you want to add a widget to your Pixel home screen, the new page is far more compact with collapsible sections with account for the number of widgets available from an application. It's a fairly minor change, but it does help tidy things up and help you select the right widget from the right app. The Pixel lock screen is also getting some attention in the developer preview too, with some fairly minor tweaks to the formula that we have become accustomed to. When using a pin, the line that separates the keypad from the upper portion of your screen is no longer there. While the enter key stops using a blue button, in favour of a cleaner line icon. Instead, the emergency call pill is now a shade of blue and is now more prominent by being filled in. If you use a unique pattern rather than a pin, the major change here is that the trail line is now much thicker, which might make it easier to decipher what path you've taken previously to enter your actual pattern. While the one-handed mode was technically available in the Android 12 developer preview one, it is now live and fully usable in Preview 2. Under the Gestures section of the Pixel Settings menu, Android 12 DP2 adds the one-handed mode option, which is triggered by swiping down on the very bottom of the display. This gesture though was turned off by default on several of our own test devices, so you may need to go and enable it if you want to try it out for yourself. If you were unaware, it works a lot like reachability in iOS. There are three menu options as well to adjust. You can toggle the one-handed mode on or off, Disable when switching between applications, and even set a timer option in 4, 8 or 12 second increments, or just leave it blank consistently. The first developer preview hinted that Google had plans to tweak the dark theme in Android 12. Developer preview 2 goes a step further by actively adjusting the entire system dark theme, and maybe not for the better, so it's a bit harsh to call this a top feature. Many people often prefer an AMOLED dark theme, which can have many battery benefits. With this latest developer preview update, Google has changed the colour from pure black to a darker grey shade. Sure, it's more cohesive and across the entire OS, but it is really an acquired taste. We do hope that Google will add an option to toggle AMLED dark themes 
as we can foresee this change being met with outright hatred from a lot of people out there. Another change to this dark theme, or a potential bug as some of you out there might see it, has the Wi-Fi sharing option now always appear in light mode. Even if you have the system wide dark theme enabled constantly, it's likely to help make QR codes easier to scan, but to be honest, it's anyone's guess, but it's something to note if you do update. So as we mentioned, there are more than just a few surface level changes in the Android 12 developer preview 2, but this small selection, or relatively small selection, happens to be some of the top user facing features that we have found thus far. Naturally, we expect to see more things that might slip through the cracks over the coming days and weeks, and should there be enough to warrant it, we'll have a deeper dive into some more hidden and secret features very soon. And on top of this, if this video manages to get 2,500 likes, we'll share our custom developer preview to wallpapers directly with you if you do want to adorn your smartphone with them. But with that said, what is your favourite new feature or features so far? Let us know down in the comment section below. But as always, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later.